Hello fellow engineers and welcome back. It's a mini motorway. I'm still absolutely in love with this game. Uh, last time we tried some pretty funky new techniques. Uh, didn't didn't quite go to plan. We only managed 200 points on Moscow. Uh, but since then I actually had a little go on stream. I have a Twitch channel if you weren't aware. There's a link in the description if you're ever into streaming. I don't stream too often though. It's just as and when, no schedule. But I did really well. I got like nearly 2,000 points, which was 10 times better than the score in the video. Uh, which means we've unlocked Munich. And I wanted to have a little go at Munich and just trying out actual going for top scores again. I feel like we've learned enough now. We should be able to start pushing for some of these better scores. So let's head to Germany. And oh, really? The first road started miles away. So we're gonna head straight across up like that. And we're in. This is a very bright level. I like this. Bit of yellow. Oh, that's not too bad. I'll take a house happening there. I do actually like to sort of save a bit of road there. So if I put those in, it means houses won't spawn there and stop me being able to connect and use this bridge. That should help me long term. At least until I need those road pieces. Because I got a lot of roads. I got 16 roads and they're not doing anything. They're just sat there looking at me, daring, wondering when it's their turn. Uh, this is lovely though. A blue completely separated. Now I feel like I want to start being cheeky. So I want to use the old 6x6 six six tactic thing. So I think if I do that, no other shops can spawn. Because there's no 6x6 six six pieces that like don't go into the sea or anything. So that means nothing can spawn. Alright, so bottom right there's some 6s appeared. Because the map has just expanded down. So I think we'll do a cross like that. And that will stop anything spawning there. There's still... A space there there's a six by six so i'll do that as well i'm controlling the game well I, I think i'm in control i'm probably not in control in the slightest right it's the end of week one uh obviously we learned last time traffic lights pretty much don't help don't help in the slightest so we'll go with roundabout and what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna be too scared anymore i'm gonna delete those and say shops you can spawn down there please don't be blue try and be red that would be very helpful and yes, look, the system works. The system works. So not only did my junction thing pay off here, because I can now connect him in. Uh, I'm actually going to go that way as well, just to use up that square to keep the sixes separated. Uh, but we can also do that. So that worked out very, very well from my point of view. There you go. And then another orange house to go in there. I think they're orange. They're kind of a weird color. Uh, and the map has expanded on the left. We got loads of sixes down there. But I think I'm just going to allow that to happen. If we get an extra color, hopefully the shop will be down there. And hopefully the house will be down there as well. All right, so another orange house has gone in. So that's fueling these two orange slices of bread. Oh, can you imagine orange flavored bread? Actually, that does remind me of a story. Uh, so at uni, someone like found this like viral thing. Well, I don't think it was viral. I think they just found it. And they said, it's well, it looks the most amazing thing ever. Haven't tried it, but I wanted you guys to be the first people to try this amazing new invention that I discovered on the internet. So one of my friends comes over and he goes, so I found this thing, it's called Fanta bread. Basically, you buy a French baguette, like a stick of bread. Uh, you cut it in half, you rip out all the bread from the middle, and then you're left with a cup, a goblet, a bread goblet. Yeah, and then you fill it up with Fanta. And he said, don't worry, it's, it's one of those things like peanut butter jelly or ice cream and fries or strawberries and pepper it's like one of those weird combinations that just works so we we poured off our bottle of fantas into our bread finished pouring and then you can sort of see all the scum on top of this liquid slowly starting to form you're like okay this is a bit gross anyway you, you drink you drink your fanta out of the bread cup tastes like absolute ass uh, not that i know what that tastes like yeah and then you just eat the bread and it's like nice orangey tangy bread but no it's it's disgusting it's literally what you thought it would taste like right so as i was telling that story i did some jiggery pokery i like slightly moved this road to block some things i did some more blockaging up the top and down the right uh, annoyingly i just had a blue house spawn down here which really not ideal if i'm honest but this is perfect this is literally what i wanted so we can do that and yes this is looking good that really did work out well so this is why i sort of blocked these outer edges because i was hoping that my new color the white slice of bread would be plonked there and just my luck i got the houses on the same side as well so we're super segregated not even any chance of mixing colors well maybe that blue one but yeah i feel like this is this is a great start uh, even you mr blue can't really mess me up connect this house straight in i am actually gonna realign this road 
just because I want to use up some of the squares. So if I do that, that just prevents anything spawning down there. So I was worried we might get a colour in there and sort of split the route up to the white. But it's good, it's the end of week three. We've got 20 tiles, even though we're using loads all over the place to block gaps. Uh, so I don't think we're slack on tiles, so I'm going to go with the motorway. And to be honest, I probably would always go with the motorway. Motorways are OP in this game. I'm actually, I'm going to stagger this junction as well. So I'm going to do that. And that should just speed up slightly how these orange houses get over there. We got the blue in. We got an extra white house to go in. Oh, that is not ideal. That is not ideal. Right, so purple, we don't want to connect you up. So we're going to have to come down with you and do that for the blues. And then purple, you're going to have to come up this way. Oh, that's really annoying, purple. Why do you have to do that? <laughs> Uh, so we could come all the way around the back of these houses and we'll see if that's even viable. So I'm sort of thinking we come up here, literally around the back of these houses, straight across. Yeah, we've still got 17 road tiles, so I will take that. And that's fine, this purple spawn was good. Pink, not the best. Thankfully, I've got a bridge, so we can move this blue out the way. And then this pink, we're going to have to go up and around. So I think we'll just go straight up to there and then straight across. Uh, but I've run out of road types. Uh, thankfully, I can gain one or two just by doing that sort of thing. Getting rid of that arm and doing that. So now I've got two more road tiles, which means I can finish this up. Just about pretty close. All right, we've connected three houses to this pink shop. And that's all of our road pieces. So now it's just wait. It's Saturday. The week runs out on a Sunday. This shop has just upgraded to a mighty IMAX cinema. Yeah, and we only have two houses connected, which I don't think is enough, if I'm honest. All right, there we go. It's week four. It might be the point in the game where we start using motorways. I would love 30 road tiles. That's a lot of road tiles. Yeah, but motorways are just so useful because they're quicker as well. So I'm going to grab this motorway. And then I'm actually going to look at deleting this purple road, gaining all of those road tiles. I'm sort of going to try and make space so the houses spawn where I want them a bit. Like what I did early on in the game at this junction. So we put a roundabout there, we keep this purple connected and connect our motorway like that. So we are, we are mixing the blues and the purples, but I think it's going to be a much better solution. It's going to be a lot quicker. All right, so now all the roads are deleted, you can sort of see how it works. Uh, it seems just these two blue houses are keeping the demand of this IMAX, so that's good. And we've got some pink down this end now, so I'm going to quickly join my roads up. I'm going to connect everything like that, so that should be fine. If we get any sort of luck in this game, the blank spot next to this supermarket, this pink one, we know that's going to spawn a different colour. If we get any sort of luck, it's going to be a light blue or a purple. For now, though, I don't hate how this game's going. All right, this orange supermarket has upgraded to the mighty IMAX cinema. Uh, it's the second IMAX in the same town, which, to be fair, you can never have too many IMAX cinemas in one town. People just can't get enough of that screen. All right, week five, we're going to go with the 20 road tiles and a bridge. Now we've got two bridges in total and 32 road tiles. We've also got a cheeky little motorway for emergency use only. We've got another blue house spawning down there, thankfully on my little end of arm that I put in. So again, glad, glad I put that in. Another pink there will connect you over there. Oh, and look at this. What did I say? It had to be a white, didn't it? So we've got two options here. We can either do a motorway all the way across, or we should have enough roads and bridges to span all of that. So I might do that for now, just because if you do a motorway, then you're likely to have things spawn like in the way, and then you can never go back to like a normal road solution. These white people are really expanding, aren't they? They're going very far away. So a little bit worried about the distance. That could mean that needs to be a motorway just because it's so far. Yeah, I'm actually going to disconnect that road. I don't want these mingling too much. Wait, what did I just say? Oh, we've got a nice purple house spawn on the end there. I've just put another road in, hoping that I can expand the houses downwards. We've only got four road pieces left though. Thankfully, it is Sunday, so we only need 24 hours to go. And then we get more roads. I'm not sure what this orange house thinks he's doing, but you're segregated. You're living on your own private island. All right, week six. Again, I'm being tempted with the road tiles, but it's, I'm a motorway man. They don't call me motorway map for no reason. Right, so we've got a purple spawn over that way. Not ideal. We sort of need a route to this shop. I don't know what the best solution is at the moment. It might be just motorway it down to there, maybe. 
Yeah, I think we'll do that for now. This guy literally has almost a private motorway. Why? Why? Okay, we got enough road pieces. We can actually get around that. Can you imagine living there? Like, that happened in China. This guy in China refused to sell his house. So they just built, like, a massive motorway around his house. <laughs> it literally looks like this purple dude. See, this game's realistic. It's realistic. All right, we've got a third IMAX. Another blue company IMAX. It could be worth... If I've got the road, sending this pink around. Oh god. Around, I said. And then bringing that down. So again, I hope this guy likes tarmac. Because that's all he's seeing when he looks out his windows now. Oh look, another orange IMAX. So they're rivaling the blues now. With two IMAX cinemas in the same town. Week 7. Another mo- This game's giving me a lot of motorways. That's so tempting though. I don't know what to do. Motorways are better. I gotta go motorways. I gotta go motorways. I think I'm sitting on two motorways. I've like, I'm never in this position usually. We could even, with our motorways, split up the purple and the light blue. Uh, but for now, I think I'm just going to leave them for emergencies. We've got a lot of space up here. So we should be able to reconfigure a bit later in the game if needed. Uh, just keep things a bit more even. Oh, there you go. And we've got another one down here now. Why are all these houses moving in? Pretty dodgy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right, we've got another pink. Uh, I've also, I do have enough road to sort of do that as well at least temporarily yeah, but i'd rather put the road in and then come back with the motorway later on uh we do need to connect all these houses in there a lot of houseage going on yes houseage is the technical term uh, but it's week eight and finally i can pick the 30 road tile option because i've literally just run out i'm on zero tiles uh, never going to go traffic lights so that's the easiest decision of the game uh, white is not ideal we do have houses down here. We could go round with the whites, actually. Uh, but I've done some jiggery pokery, so we've got one, two, three, four, five white houses to this white slice of bread. We've got four to this slice of bread. And we've got three to this one. So should be okay, but we might need my Oh no, it's, 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 I, it's IMAX already. Words got out about how successful IMAX cinemas are. Uh, that's a brilliant spawn. Now I'm just, I'm just going to pause. I'm going to take this pink one around the outside. Uh, yes, I've doubled up my road around here, but it saves the space because if any houses spawn in there, I'm cocked. Uh, week 9, and we've got another motorway as well. We've got three motorways not doing anything. And we seem to be coping, so... And actually, the traffic is proper stacking up. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to delete this whole pink road. And what we're going to do, we're going to motorway probably from yeah, just in the middle. Hopefully it's equal distance to both. Uh, I might move these a little bit. Boing. Boing. <laughs> yeah, move you way up there. And this number two. I want to see what's going on on all the shops. Yeah, we will get a bridge back, so it might be worth splitting these up. All right, so hopefully you can see the traffic flying on motorway three. The pinks go so much quicker on motorways. And look, I can move them anywhere. Boing. <laughs> They're stuck to the road. Uh, okay, so so many blue houses spawning down there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect these houses and i'm actually going to disconnect the blue from the motorway like that so now this motorway is just taking purples and blues and then the purples will turn off so we don't need a roundabout and then the blues will go straight up and that's four houses for that supermarket so that should be fine now this imax now has one two three four five has loads of loads of houses because I imagine this IMAX will be a bit more critical. So now this IMAX has blues right next to them. Sorted. Everything else should be fine. Not entirely sure. We just hit a thousand points. Uh, and with our extra bridge, I'm going to do what I said about for this orange. We're going to do parallel bridges. And we're going to disconnect that. So we've got four houses funding each. Uh, if four houses aren't good enough, we're going to have to use a motorway to bring some of these houses up. Yeah, it does look pretty sketchy in there. We do have another motorway though. Okay, I might... Oh, or a bridge. No, motorway. Always motorway, Matt. Oh, look, look. We've got we got our white. We found out that this is a white. So, time to use our noggin here. We've got so many motorways. I'm not going to waste them. Do a motorway up to there. So that's four more houses going in, which means we can bring one of these houses straight up. So that's five houses to this IMAX, seven to that one. Hopefully that will do. Now, I'm thinking we get rid of motorway two, or at least move this arm to down here if we connect all of these guys up uh, and then we'll just leave that running for a little bit now we've got another pink down the bottom thankfully we can just connect that in pretty sensibly i think straight up 
And then we'll take a load of houses straight down. Uh, we've got a timer for these purples. Oh, God. Do I need... I don't think these blues are doing anything down here. So I'm sort of thinking we get rid of that arm. And we just make this motorway go straight there. Six houses go into that IMAX. So that should be fine. The motorway is quicker, as we know. In fact, I could make it quicker by putting the motorway in the middle. That's a lot more sensible. Oh, God. I forgot about this white one. Right. I knew that was something. I knew that was something. I think, to be honest, it might be worth bringing these blues underneath. Bringing these white houses all the way down through the gap. Thread the needle down to there. And then that one in the middle. I really need the timer to go down. Oh, no. These white people, if you follow my mouse, they've come along here. Gone round this purple house. They've ignored this supermarket come up here can you see they're actually on this motorway motorway three where are they going they're going to that supermarket oh it's all connected that's the trouble this game the traffic ai they're stupid <laughs> stupid people and there's no real way of solving that now i'm gonna grab some bridges this time because we're out of bridges so we've got an extra bridge and i think it's time to delete this road so good work purple house you get your garden view back and we're gonna motorway straight into there so that should get some cars up there quicker. We even connect a few more like that. Moments later. I have no idea if that makes sense. I don't even know if I did it properly. It's just carnage. But basically, there's a quicker route for the whites. And should discourage people using motorway 3. Uh, motorway 5, I really need you to start picking up some slack. We've got a timer. Oh, the timer's going down, yes. <gasps> no, there's one in the middle. Oh no. There's cars arriving. There are cars arriving. They're too slow, though. They're too slow. I should have just put a motorway in. Ready? That car's going to bring the timer down. Come on, park, park. He just crashed. He just crashed. Oh, no, park. He went straight past. Oh, we've cocked it. Oh, that was a mess. An absolute mess. So the city shut down after 79 days. We've unlocked Zurich. So we'll have a go at that next time. Let's see how we did on the leaderboard. 14,000. Terrible. Look how many people got exactly the same score as me. I did the same as an angry Brit. Well, I'm not too angry, so I'm going to say peace, love, and bridges. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.